Hey guys, today we're here with Michelle at Vitamix headquarters and she's gonna show us how to make black bean soup. Welcome back, Lenny. Yeah, thanks. Great it's, to have you back again. It's so fun to be back. And it's such a soup day today, isn't it? Uh-huh, chili, first snow. Oh yeah, yeah, I love it. This is a great recipe that we've been doing. We do it in a lot of our classes and one of the reasons that I love it is because it just teaches people a lot of tips about making soup in the Vitamix. Um, as you well know, Vitamix doesn't heat. It's friction and heat, yep. it doesn't cook. Mm -hmm. So I always like to tell people, so this particular black bean recipe is on our website. Um, and we start with just, we have a can of chickpeas and a can of black beans, and I put half in here, and then I reserve the rest later. We're gonna add them in later. So we're gonna start with half um, a can of black beans and chickpeas. And you know I'm always telling people to put their liquid in first. But I don't do it when I do the soup because yeah. if I did that, then you'd be wearing the soup. Oh, okay. Clean <laughs> so, shirt. We don't want to yeah, do that. Yeah, exactly. I make the exception for beans, too. Yeah. They're pretty soft. Yeah, yeah. they are. Well, it's like the liquid will go in and it'll be fine, but if I put the liquid in first, then it splashes up everywhere. Yeah. I've got a jalapeno. I take the seeds out. If you like a little bit more heat, feel free to leave them in. And then we've got, now the recipe calls for half a cup of sautéed onion. and. I want to show people that you don't have to, you can make a swap to raw, but be keeping in mind that that flavor change that happens when you saute an onion isn't happening in the Vitamix. Right. So what you want to do is when you go with any of those things in the legume family, so garlic we're going to do it with in this onion, you want to cut that amount in half. If the recipe calls for it to be roasted ah. or sauteed, mm -hmm. you want to cut it in half because you can always add more in, but you can't back out that flavor. And, you know from experience what it does to the flavor of yeah. onion. It just explodes Yeah, out. onion soup. That's a great tip. Mm -hmm. So that's, anyway, so that's, so we went to a, a, about a quarter cup of onion. Okay. And again, the recipe calls for three cloves of roasted garlic, but I didn't have time to roast these, so we're just gonna go with okay. two cloves right. of raw. And we've got a little bit of lime juice here. Okay. And I have, here is cumin, salt, and pepper. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in. And then I'm gonna add in some vegetable broth. And I love this recipe because this is just something you can do after work super quick. Yeah. And it's just as simple as opening a few cans and right. just getting everything ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and put it up here. And I'm going to start that, um, that soup setting. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how we can stream in some things to give some texture to the soup. Great. All right. So we're going to go ahead and this one is a preset setting. So we're going to go ahead and put it on soup. But if I was doing this on a blender with all manual control, I would just take it to high. Oops. Here we go. And that's going to run for about six minutes. Yeah. I like to let this go high and go a little bit longer because when we stream in these additional ingredients, that's going to bring this temperature soup down. Got it. Okay. So you're All right. Going to it cool. All right. Okay, so here we are. You know, obviously, you know. Ooh, the steam, Piping best hot. part. Mm -hmm. That's the best, the big wow moment. But you know, sometimes you don't just want a pureed soup. Sometimes you want um, just to have a little bit of bite to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turning it back on to three. And basically, I'm gonna do wet chop. Okay, yep. these in. So first I'm gonna add in the reserved chickpeas and black beans. And then we're gonna add in, I've got some yellow and red pepper here. I'm all, like I said, I'm only on a three. So we get in there, and that's about 25 seconds there. So now I've got texture in the soup. Okay. And you can garnish this however you want. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, tortilla chips on it for you. But... Nice. Some people, cilantro is very polarizing. Mm -hmm. I love it. That I would do, be good on here. It would be great on here too. Some tortilla put chips. Bit, put some tortilla chips, give you a little bit of crunch on there. Yeah, and cilantro gives it a little color too. Yep. We, we have a... There you go, my darling. Okay. I got, I got lunch for you. So much pressure. Thank you. It's been, it's been a long morning. <laughs> this looks delicious. I don't know if we can see it. It looks really, really good. And just, it, like I said, just adds a little bit of texture to it. And mm -hmm. it's a good thing, you know, you could even put like a cooked chicken in there if you wanted to add a protein yeah. to it or yeah, something Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like oh, this looks delicious. Nice. It's a good really one. good. And I'm thinking this is a good soup to give to like a picky eater. Yes. And not say that there's beans in there, like we were talking about when it was blending. Yeah. This is a delicious soup. And it's nice and thick because of those beans were in the base. Yes. So it's got, that's one thing that I think is great it's about it. It's a nice texture. I can taste the cumin is really nice and the garlic. I, we like a lot of salt in our house. I'm not sure why. Um, I would maybe add a teeny bit more salt, but yep. 
um, like we kind of talked about. That was only about. like a quarter teaspoon. Right. Yeah, it's very, I mean, all, we you'll find that with everything. All, yeah, you'll yep. find that with all the Vitamix recipes, the salt and pepper are very low and you should feel free to go in. No, it doesn't need and, much. Uh, add a little bit, add it to, so it fits your personal taste. I'm so glad you came out. Delicious, thank you so much for, for making this. We will bring this recipe home and make it at home. Wonderful. Um, and it's so good to see you again. Good to see you too, lad. Um, Michelle from like Vitamix headquarters. Um, guys, this is one of our favorite, one of your favorite guests on this channel. I, you loved it when she taught us how to make green juice and almond milk. Um, what else do we make? Oh, we made my icky green juice. Icky Just green icky juice. Cr icky green juice. Um, yeah, so guys, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.